Hi, this is Peyton with Girls Gone Right. Hi, this is Megan from Girls Gone Right. And we have John McEntee with Date Right Stuff. How are you today? Pretty good. How are you? We are good. We are so excited Golden. to have you on the podcast today. Yes. Um, so we had John on Girls Gone Right a few months ago. This is, I think, back in January. So things have changed since then. And we are going to change it up this time. Uh, so we already know about the dating app, but now we are going to go on a date with you. Uh oh, let's do it. Let's do it. What does it feel like to be on a date with two women? I mean, like, what this is, is kind of exciting? Doing? It's the most exciting thing I've done in a while. <laughs> it better be. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so we have some fun questions for you and John has no idea what we're about to ask them, yep. ask him. So these are not, he has no time to. <laughs> prepare or think about it and so we're just gonna go for it All right. so we are gonna do a little rapid fire would you rather but before we do that since this is a date john tell us a little bit about yourself well i'm from southern california where i live now uh i work on a startup dating app which means i'm broke uh, i have two older sisters and eight nieces and nephews Whoa. i worked in politics for a little bit and um yeah that's a little bit about me. Okay, awesome. so you worked in politics. What did you do in politics? I was basically a President Trump's personal assistant. I would travel with him everywhere. And I worked in the outer oval office with really great people. Uh, in the last year of the administration, I also took on an additional role, which was in charge of hiring and staffing the administration uh, in charge of all the political appointees, which was pretty exciting. That sounds very exciting and pretty dang cool. <laughs> so big MAGA guy. Yeah. Noted. Big MAGA guy. Conservative. Right. <laughs> okay. Like and so what are you looking for, you know, in the dating realm? Uh, in the dating realm, I'd say I'm, I'm mostly focused on work like always, but I am open to meeting the right person, of course. I do go on dates occasionally. And I'm looking for someone that kind of understands me where i'm from you know i'd like someone from southern california i know it's a liberal state but where i live is very conservative um i'd like to have a big family so they should probably be a little younger than me as i'm entering my mid-30s um i'm catholic i'd love someone that's catholic but uh just somebody that's fun that i could get along with um i'm open to it. i'm open to it okay and what is your idea of just the perfect first date um, well, my favorite thing to do is eat. So anything involving food, I know most people think that's way too big of a commitment on a first date. You want to just grab a drink because what if they're totally socially awkward or you really aren't into it, then you can get out of there. But I eat really quickly. So, um, anything <laughs> with food is good with me. Okay. Well, we are socially awkward a little bit, so this is going to be really fun. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> In the best way. In the best way. <laughs> um, okay, so let's get into it. We are going to do some would you rather. So, John, would you rather lose all of your memories or never make a new one again? Oh, gosh. Lose all your memories <laughs> or never make. I I I'll lose all my, I'll lose all the past ones. Yeah, I don't focus on the past too much. So let's just look forward. Okay. That's very interesting. That's a good answer. That's a good answer. Okay. Okay. Would you rather lose your vision or your hearing? Oh my gosh. I mean, losing <laughs> your hearing would be horrible. Not being able to hear music. Uh, we yeah. just watched a movie Coda the other night about the deaf oh, family. Yeah. Right. Amazing. And you feel like so bad for them. However, having no vision would be absolutely horrible. So I would rather lose my hearing. Dang. Wow. Yeah. That's it's a toss. That's up. a toss. That's a toss up is a tough choice. Like gun to my head. I don't know which one I would rather lose. If I'm blind, I, I like I can't do anything. No. Yeah. Blind, is, blind, blind is worse. Both are pretty bad. Um, but I think blind takes it. Mm. Yeah. So would you rather call someone or text someone? Text. This is I am a textaholic. <laughs> I love texting. I text all day long. I'm the best texter. I text so fast. I respond very quickly. I love wow. texting. I don't like talking on the phone that much. And I absolutely hate FaceTiming. Uh, so I'm going with text. So wow. like you and I are probably around the same age. Were you like a T9 
fast texter. Yeah, is that when they had like the multiple and you had to like yes. tap through? And you yeah. could like you could you would like not even have to look and you would Yeah, I could do the no look. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, I that is such a different take because a lot of people hate texting and they would rather do a phone call because it's just quicker and you don't confuse things as easily. Yeah, yeah sometimes it's, it's sometimes it's hard to tell the mood via text, but I kind of enjoy that part of it. Um trying <laughs> to like mystery. figure it out or trying You're to like mysterious. Yeah, we're trying to keep it mysterious. Yeah, it's kind of, kind of fun. Yeah. Building that mystery. Okay, would you rather receive good news first or bad news first? Um, if I'm getting both, I would rather receive bad first and get it over with yeah. and then get on to the good. Um, I think that's way easier. Like if I'm having a meal back to food, I always eat the thing I like the least first, and then I just like the meal to get better as it goes along. So I'll use the same scenario here. Just give me the bad stuff. Let's get it over with and then get to the good stuff. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah, I think I'd rather want bad news because then things do go up from there. You know, yes. I've already hit the rock bottom yeah. or I've already heard it. And then I'm like, oh, great. But then there's yeah. something better that will lift you up. Yeah. Do you guys have bad news to give me or is this this is strictly hypothetical, right? Um, we'll let you know at the end of the day. Okay. We haven't decided yet if it's good news or bad news. So we'll feel it out. That's great. That's great. It's not would, good news. Or bad would news. you rather be able to take anything you say back or listen in on every conversation about you? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> um, it's, it's tough. I, ha I have zero desire to listen in on every conversation about me. So I'll go with the, the first option. Okay, so you'd rather be I able to take anything you say back. I, I, I'm able to take anything I say back? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take that, yeah. I okay. don't want to know what people are saying. I'm very, I would be very insecure about that. Yeah, I think so too. Although yeah. part of me wants to know. <laughs> it's like Yeah, I wish I could pick yeah. the certain people and then like not know what other people are saying, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm it's, going. it's getting tough. I told you, we have some tough, hard-hitting like questions. I like it. I mean, we are very forward on our dates. Yes. Like, we are just going for it, finding mm -hmm. out everything. That's good. You go, Glenn Coke. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather have to go on one, 150 dates in a year or have to automatically spend a year with the next person you go on a date with? Oh, oh. <laughs> Um, he goes, oh. <laughs> well, do I get to choose who the person I next go on a date with and then I'm stuck with them for a year or is this like a blind date? So just whatever your next date is, it could you could go on a date with someone and it could go absolutely horribly and then you would have to date them for a year. I'm going on 150 dates. I'll make them quick, <laughs> painless. That's way too big of a gamble. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if I want to spend a year with anyone unless I get to just choose that person. But yeah, um, I mean, no, going on a, going on a random date and then having to be stuck with that person. That's brutal. That's brutal. I mean, on a technicality, there is no specification in this question that says that you can't go on 150 <laughs> dates with the same person. Oh, so so there you go. Would you go on 150 dates with the same person? In a year. Would I go on 150 dates with, do I get to choose this person or? Sure, sure. Oh yeah, yeah, I'd do okay. that. Yeah, All I right. would choose someone I like, I get along with, likes the same things as me, likes to eat, and I'd go out 150 times with them, yeah. There you go. You found a loophole. I did, yeah. that's what I do. I'm a Marvel nerd. <laughs> <laughs> I find loopholes. I think that it's it would be hard to spend a year with someone that you've been on a first date with because I've been on some terrible first dates Ooh. and I'm like I would I don't want to see you again, let alone for a whole year. Right. So that that's a true commitment to someone that you just might not. Did you guys come up with these or did you look them up or how like they're pretty creative? Um, um I was influenced by Google a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. So yeah, you know I I did you know, go deep dive into Google into some really hard hitting would you rather to really get to know someone so google did play a big part in this <laughs> next time just take credit yeah <laughs> dang it i'll just edit that kidding. out <laughs> so would you rather lose your sense of taste or your sense of touch for a year oh um come on foodie yeah obviously touch 
So I had COVID. <laughs> um, I had very scary COVID, and I lost my taste for a few weeks, and that was that was weird because you're yeah. still hungry, but then you can't taste anything. So you need to eat, but you're not enjoying it as much. Yeah. You're just kind of that was horrible. So I life I'm, is dull if you can't taste. Yeah, yeah. I would rather. I mean, I don't even understand touch, so you don't feel. Nah, that's fine. They could have that one. <laughs> okay. I agree. Yeah, I'd much rather enjoy my food for a year in peace. No one needs to touch me. Yeah, that's fine. That's, I'm fine with that. That's really tough. I don't know. I, I guess. I think I might what lose is, my sense of taste. But what is your love language? Is it touch? Because if it's touch, that's that's a hard one to let go of. <sighs> Not really. <laughs> <laughs> I actually prefer not to but, be touched. Um, I have OCD, and a lot of it has to do with touching things. Mm. So, mm. yeah, I, it, for me, it might have to be since of taste. Yeah, wow. But not being yeah. able, not being able to taste for a year. I mean, I mean. Ugh. So, if you are about to lose your sense of taste for a whole year, what? Would you eat before that happens? They're like, you have one like day. The last meal. I have yes. one day. I'm starting it out at Pancake House, getting a full <laughs> stack of their buttermilk pancakes. Mm. I'm going to lunch at in and out I'm getting a number one because I have to, you know, pace myself, just the double-double and fries. Yeah. I'm stopping at Golden Spoon, my favorite frozen yogurt place where I make some of my TikToks at. Uh, getting a little <laughs> afternoon snack. And then I'm ending it at Ruth's Chris where I'm getting a filet medium cream spinach baked potato caesar salad and then i'll probably go home and eat more ice cream just to really round it out wow yeah. it seems like you've thought about this yeah um i have my favorite things so it's very easy to just say yeah yeah i agree i'm definitely all for burgers if i had a last yeah, meal you're a burger it, would, queen. it would be a burger a big fat burger big what's the best burger in nashville i actually have a list i've you been like you you crowned jack brown right Ooh, so Jack Brown, but also I think it was called Pinewood Social. Oh, yeah, yeah. And yeah. it was just yeah. like the biggest burger also. It had so much on it. Yeah. And that's what I really like. Like yeah. bacon, egg, and they oh, put yeah. like jelly or something crazy on it and jalapenos. And I like crazy. Mm. Like give me something absolutely wild. What's the best fast food burger? Ooh, I like Shake Shack. Yeah. Oh, man. Because oh, of their fries that, also. Is that a fast food though? Yeah. Yeah. I see. When I think fast food, I'm like drive through. Um, that's what I think. It's of fast it's food. pretty fast. So in my opinion, it's fast food, and the fries add they elevate the meal. You know, it's. Do you get fries. cheese on them or plain? Mm, I don't get cheese on the fries. I just mm. like the seasoning on it. Mm -hmm. Over cookout. Oh, over over cookout. Yeah, because that to me is fast food. Mm. Cookout okay. is fast food. Yeah, cookout's fast food. I. I th I still think like Smash Burger or like Shake Shack or Five Guys. Dude, what a burger! Oh, I've never had that. Oh, and oh, I get FOMO. we'll go in Dallas. I yeah. get FOMO. We'll go in Dallas. Oh yes. I mean, it's not the best burger, but it's like to me the best. Fast I get food FOMO burger. when I I've never had In and Out either, and when oh. people talk about oh, it, oh, there's one I'm, in Dallas. We'll go. Oh no, my gosh, no yeah, way. We'll go to both. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Thank when are you gosh. gonna be in Dallas? In two weeks. Yes, oh, for the advertisement. Yeah, yes. we will be. I'll be there. I'll be there. I'll be there. Wow! At the women's conference. Yep. Oh, nice. <laughs> All right. Great. <laughs> well, we'll see you there. <laughs> okay, back to business. <laughs> back to business. Would you rather know when you'll die or how you'll die? Ooh. Hmm. Yeah, it's a tough one. Um. So. There used to be, like, this used to be debated a lot. Would you, if you could know when you would die, would you want to know? And most people, I think even I fell into this, you would think, no, because then you'll just be thinking about it. You'll be obsessing it. about it. You'll be, yeah. you know. However, if it was going to be when I was older, I wouldn't mind knowing. So then you can get everything in order. You could say your proper goodbyes. You know, if you know this is going to be the last year, you can get in that vacation. So I'm going to go with knowing and I'm just going to hope that when I know it's like sometime in my 80s and not like yeah. two weeks from now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is so tough. I don't think actually I don't I don't want to know when I'll die. I don't either. Just because it's like that Black Mirror episode when 
they kind of just have a timeline on everything. It's like the dating one too. It's you figure out how long you're going to be dating someone. You'll go on a date and you'll unlock the app or whatever. And it says you're going to be dating this person for the next nine months. And then you just have to dread it for nine months of like mm. knowing when something's going to end. That sounds mm. very daunting. And I don't want to, even if it's like, you're going to die 80. Yeah. I don't, I don't want to know that because then I'm going to turn 80 and then I'm just going to feel like my life is just, yeah. you're like, you're waiting, waiting every day you second. wake up with in, in anxiety yeah. that that might be your last. Anticipating your death sounds. I like surprises. Sounds deathly. Like, yeah. yeah. I, I would, I would rather know how. Yeah. Yeah. What about if it said you're going to die in a car accident? Right. Then you right. wouldn't ever right. get in the car. Well, Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess. You have to pick one. I, I mean, I'm going with how I'm okay. going to die. Um, and if it's a violent death, oh, well, oh, well. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I Okay, so I would say Carry a gun. <laughs> I want to know how I'm going to die just because by chance I open it up and it's something crazy. Like, yeah, I mean, plane like, goes down. You're can, missing on an island. On your on your gravestone. It yeah. could be like, died in a plane crash. Oh my gosh. <laughs> or like, something even crazier than that. Like, you are going to like... Murder. Yeah, like, <laughs> literally murdered. There's a true crime episode about you. They find your arm in a in a empty field. Like, something like that. Wow, we're getting really into detail. But like, I would be like, whoa. As what a as, way to go. As long that, as that, that's, more, that's more appealing to you than just knowing you're going <laughs> to die at 83 or something. <laughs> No, yes. you're gonna be sawed in a field or whatever you were just saying. Yeah. As long as they okay. don't turn my life into an SVU. But it's episode. a surprise. Like I don't want to know when it's gonna happen though. I'm like right. okay, you can like kidnap me and like dismantle my body, but like I don't want to know when it's gonna happen. No. I'm, right. I like surprises. I like spontaneity. Sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you go. Okay. So would you rather have a pause button or a rewind button on your life? Oh, ooh. So there was a movie about this called Click. I don't know if you guys have seen yeah, it. Yeah, that movie's great. Um, and then there's also another movie called About Time. Have you guys seen that one? No. Isn't that with Rachel McAdams? Yes. Yeah. And, uh, it's an Eric amazing Bonner. movie where the guy has the power to do it. He has yeah. the power to rewind every day and live it all over again. Wow. But then he realizes that like it's actually not a good power. So I'm just going to go with the pause um because i think the rewind it gets too obsessive then you're just reliving everything and you're trying to make everything perfect but then there's other things that happen that go wrong so a pause would be cool you know um give you more time to think i yeah. guess yeah or if you're really enjoying a certain moment you know you can take it in you can just pause it really yeah. take it in and then play you know yeah what about you um I, I honestly, I think I, I've not, I don't regret anything that I've ever done in my life, but I, I think I would choose the rewind button just so that I could go back and like see, see people mm -hmm. that might not be here anymore mm. um, and, and take it in again, like all over again. Um, but I don't, I don't regret any relationships or anything like that. It would be nice to go back in time and be like, give some boy, a guy the finger, but that's. <laughs> Wait, I'm just using it for this. Yeah. I'm just using this to tell you that you suck. Yeah. No, a rewind but would wouldn't be, change anything. A rewind would be great. I just think, you know, it has a downside as well. I would it take does. advantage of it. Yeah. yeah. I know I would. Yeah. So therefore I would choose the pause button because yeah. I know I would. You know, I think that you do things and then you regret it, but it wasn't necessarily a mistake because yeah. you learned from it. But then to not have to deal with that, you, I would rewind yeah. to not do it. And then, I don't know, I think it just kind of takes it away because, like, I've made mistakes and I don't regret them, but I no. have made mistakes yeah. and I've learned from them. And exactly. I'm very thankful that I ha made those mistakes. Exactly. I would make those mistakes every, I would go back and do it again. They, sh they shape who you become. And, yeah. like, you're not, you're not the same person that you were 10 years ago yeah. And there's a reason why it's because of the things that you've experienced and the mistakes that you've made along the way that have shaped who you are now. Yeah. So it wouldn't change anything, but it would be nice yeah. just to. But the pause button for sure, <laughs> because I think it's nice. Like you're in a moment and sometimes it's just like, I would love to just yes. yeah. enjoy this a little longer. And time goes by yeah. so fast. And it's just like the movie click that movie will wreck a person. 
It's I, so sad because it's yeah. so true. Yeah. Yeah. Really like you is. watch it and then you just kind of rethink your whole life. You're like, what am I doing? <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> okay. Would you rather find true love or find the thing in your life? Find the thing in life you're most talented at. Let me reread that. Would you rather find true love or find the thing in life you're most talented at? Um, I would rather find true love. Oh, yeah, Same. I think I've already found a thing I'm talented at. Um, I think, you know, something in politics comes a little naturally to me. I don't know why I played sports. That kind of never felt like I was in my groove there. But something about like the political world does. So I feel like I kind of have found that. Um, yeah. But I haven't found my true love or maybe I have and I just don't know it yet. Um, so I'm going with true Ooh. love. Tea. I mean, you are on a date with two women. So. Do you ever? <laughs> do you ever think, you know, when you think about that, maybe I have met the person. You're like, hmm. Let me just think of who I've dated. Is they could not have been the one. Yeah, it's an interesting thing. Like, have yeah. I already met them and just overlooked it? Right. But yeah. I mean. Yeah. You know, over the course of 20 years, you meet so many different people, and you guys kind of like go out on your own, and then maybe you come back, and you know, or like. Maybe it's a friend of a friend or a sister of a friend or, a, you know, and like, you just wonder if it'll ever come back around. You never know. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. So to whoever's listening and you may know John from the past, circle back. Circle back. <laughs> I'll reply to your text. <laughs> Don't call. <laughs> uh, would you rather be able to see other people's futures or be able to see your own? Ooh. Um, I don't have a huge desire for either, but I don't think I want to see my own. That takes the suspense away. So I'll just see other people's and give them a warning or something. Yeah. I'll go with other people's. Yeah. yeah you could be like a psychic. You're right. Do those little yeah. card readings, the tarot cards. Yeah. And then just give people their future. And then you can always yeah. be accurate. Oh, or you could, you could, um, be a weatherman. Mm. Oh, you would be mm -hmm. like the most successful meteorologist. Yes. Right. I like, could get up and I know everything that's going to happen with global warming. Oh, oh my, my God. God. World Economic mm. Forum, here you come. That's, that'd be amazing. <laughs> Such great insight I'd get. I, it's like the guy on, uh, I think it was Family Guy, where he's like, it's going to rain. <laughs> <laughs> we'll mean that. Yeah. It's going to rain. <laughs> What about um, you? Me? Um, I would rather see other people's future. Mm -hmm. um, as nice as it would be to see my own, I just like, you know, how you would die or when you would die. I, I don't want to know because then I have the ability to manipulate it, you know what I mean? Right. And, and make it into something that I want it to be rather than what it's supposed to be. Uh, so I would rather see other people's. Yeah. 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 The only downside is I will say that I would much rather see other people's future because life is way more fun when you have no idea what's going to happen next. Yeah, exactly. But on the other hand, being able to see other people's future, I think that would be really hard because if you could see like your family members and see their future and yeah. you can see them dying or something like that, yeah. you know, like their timeline or, you know, something bad's going to happen. Mm -hmm. And it's like some, especially just like someone close to you, that would be absolutely like, that sounds awful to live with. Yeah. That sounds really terrifying. There's no good or there's no great things that come. I'm glad I have superpowers. Yeah. That sounds like a lot. Well, that's another question. What superpower would you have if you could have one? Ooh. Hmm. I mean, people always say like invisible or fly or whatever. It's like, I don't know. I don't think any of those. Hmm. What? I don't know. You guys go first. I got to think. Wait, I have one. Okay, go. Okay. So if. <laughs> I could have any superpower it would be to eat as much as possible without it giving me diabetes like just a oh, bottomless wait. pit that would definitely be mine i'm stealing that uh, uh, oh because... not even close That's wait not even superpower. close that would be mine a thousand percent eat whatever you want don't gain weight oh my gosh I would oh eat my donuts. god i'd be eating right now oh yeah i would be eating donuts bacon like everything that i normally don't eat just because i know it's not good for me I would just go crazy. So basically, you guys want to be Captain America because he's just a 
Gosh. Super soldier that has crazy metabolism and super strength. Like okay, really... I'm sold. I'll be Captain America. Yes. No, that's a good one. And if I'm ever asked that ever again, I'm saying that because that is literally what I would want. So yeah. thank you. For I just always please. think about what I would eat if I'm like, if I was on my 600 pound life, like they wake up every day and they're like McDonald's burgers, just go crazy all day. Fried chicken sandwich, donuts, everything, ice cream. I'm like, oh, wow, I wonder yeah. what that, that must be empowering. Right. <laughs> And there are probably parts of that that are fun. The other parts <laughs> might get a little, little gross, but yeah, I, I want that superpower. So just a little bit. Just a little God, bit. What about you? Um, well, I'm obsessed with Thor, so I'll take his powers. I'll be a god, a goddess. Ooh. Ooh. You'll have that hammer yeah. thing? Uh, Mjolnir. <laughs> What's it called? <laughs> Mjolnir. <laughs> Mjolnir? <laughs> but uh, that hammer was destroyed, so we have to go with Stormbreaker. So oh, I'll take the axe. Oh, wait, I didn't even, is this? Yeah. I didn't even yeah. know that, I didn't even connect that. Which he also, well, he did get fat in Endgame, so I can't say that. I was like, he has <laughs> super crazy godlike powers, so he doesn't get Megan's, fat, but he did get fat. <laughs> Megan's a Marvel nerd also. I am. Oh. <laughs> like, huge nerd. Huge nerd. But enough about me. Back to you. <laughs> do you have any pet peeves? <laughs> um, do I have any pet peeves? Um, yeah, probably like sleeping when it's hot. Is that a pet peeve? Or like sure. restaurants that have like small glasses. Yeah. Like the trendy oh, restaurants. Those, these are oddly specific, yeah. especially the glasses one. You've been holding on to that grudge for there's a while. A restaurant, huh? There's a restaurant in I, Nashville that has short, stubby glasses, and it's so annoying. Yeah, like, I'm I thirsty. Hate, I hate those. And I they serve, hate they those. serve wine in them, and it's so annoying. Oh, people always make fun of me for eating at Cheesecake Factory. The drink is this big. I'm like, I'm going there. The Diet Coke is this big. <laughs> I love that place. You're like, when I'm <laughs> parched, that's where I'm going. Yeah. I need a tall drink. But there's probably a bunch i don't i can't really longer. think of my other pet peeves i mean you guys might give me some inspiration with yours but i'd have okay. to give a little more thought yeah um my biggest pet peeve is smacking hmm? like that like people oh. that that chew with their mouth open and yeah, like, can hear that's... what you're eating and see what you're eating Ooh, that's uh, like mastophobia I, I i also hate that and any noises like made with your mouth, like yeah, gum, breathing, uh, gum eating, popping, I don't want to hear it. Gum chewing, like I don't want to hear yeah, it if that. it's in I your mouth. That. Yeah, that's a I good agree one. With that one. My Pain. biggest pet peeve is when someone asks me to repeat something and I've already said it once and I don't know why, but it's just like repeating things. I'm like, why did I waste my breath the first time? <laughs> Mm. Oh, like they, they actually heard you, but they're just being... Or they just like weren't paying attention and they're like, uh, what'd you say? And I'm like, do I have to repeat myself? <laughs> I don't know, it's just my biggest pet peeve right there. Okay. Don't That's like repeating one. myself. Okay. One time only. I and mean, if you don't hear it too bad. <laughs> one and done. <laughs> okay. So, John, tell us a secret. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we my God. It. We promise. <laughs> I don't, I don't we know. We won't tell anyone. <laughs> um, a secret is that, I don't know if you guys have TikTok. Yeah. But we have a very big following, or it's mm -hmm. growing. And people always come up to me and say, you're so funny. Oh my gosh, this and that. And the secret is that it's really Danielle in our office writing all the jokes, and I'm just acting them out. Ah, oh, <laughs> so wow. Be the secret. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay, well, we're, we won't tell everyone except everyone who is listening. Yeah. Right. That's, yeah, just keep that secret. between us and everyone yeah. listening. Yeah. Everyone's going to come up Don't to tell you them. at the event and be like, you're a fraud. <laughs> <laughs> it's really Danielle writing the joke. <laughs> okay, what is something we wouldn't guess about you? Oh, um, something you wouldn't guess about me. Hmm. That I like musicals. What's your favorite? Uh, probably Mamma Mia, but Aww. there's a lot that are great. I like Book of yeah. Mormon. I like that Carol, uh, beautiful. Um, you know, like whatever. I like them all. Nice. Yeah. 
Very interesting. Oh, you know, the best one I saw actually was recently on Broadway, Moulin Rouge. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah, of course. I, oh, I haven't seen see that the one. show, but obviously I've seen the movie and I love it. It's way movie. better than the movie. But I've heard that the, the show is amazing. It is amazing. And I am straight, but I do like musicals. Sure. sure. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Like, noted. <laughs> What about you, Megan? What is something that no one would guess about you? Um, <laughs> well, I'm pretty open. Um, <laughs> I can burp on command. Oh, that's okay. A good do one. it. Yes. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> Only for you. Only for you, John. <laughs> Only for you. Yeah. I mean, he is pouring his life out to us. The one thing yeah, I can do for you here. is a burp. <laughs> but it's fine. That's so funny. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, I have to go, I don't know. Something that you wouldn't guess about me. I know, that's so hard. I used to be a liberal. I, I think that... Um, <gasps> I would guess that. I've, Oh, really? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> like, actually, excuse me. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Sorry. I am talking. <laughs> I'm talking. <laughs> um, yeah. And another question. If you didn't have to work a day in your life, what would you do? I would be like, involved if... in politics. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So mm. that's where your heart is. That's where my heart is. You know, love my country. Don't like the direction it's been going in the last... 70 years so mm -hmm. <laughs> um yeah i think i would still be involved in politics if i didn't have to work but luckily i can do both yeah yeah, yeah. what's the most spontaneous thing you've ever done oh gosh um let's keep it business related i flew to san francisco from dc for a breakfast and flew back wow oh, wow yeah that is pretty was it a date it wasn't a date it was I wanted to meet with this executive and he said, oh yeah, sure. I have time. Are you in town? I was like, yeah, I'm in town. <laughs> I wasn't. So just flew wow. there for breakfast and flew back. Yeah. That's commitment. Yeah. It was yeah. pretty spontaneous. Wow. That's pretty cool. I've never done anything what's, like that. What's the most spontaneous thing you've ever done? Um, I am, here's my problem is I am so, um, and I think you're like this too. This is why we get along. We're very detail oriented and scheduled. Mm. That yeah, there's no room for spontaneity. There is. There's always room for spontaneity on my schedule. <laughs> if I schedule it, yeah. Out, I'm just let me know. Like I'll go with the flow. Yeah. Just let me know when it starts and yeah. like need seven business days to prepare yeah. for it. Well, you have like um, three jobs, Peyton, right? So you're yeah. probably pretty. Yeah, I. Uh, I will say most spontaneous thing. I did fly to New York for a date. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And that was, was it like from the right stuff. No, no. I, that, I met him in real life in oh. person, the good old fashioned way. Okay. Yeah. We support in person dating as well. Yes. Yeah. Maybe I, I flew to New York last minute for a meeting with a producer for when I was doing music. Okay. A long time ago. Wow. Look at us. Yeah. Going Crossing to New York, dance. being spontaneous and yeah. things. And what well, that could have been the that could have been the thing we wouldn't have guessed about you. I wouldn't have guessed you did music. <laughs> Who me? Who me? Country music or what are we talking about? Um, I did more like pop rock. Ooh, oh. Give us a line. Give us a line. Yeah. Um, give you a line. I mean, you're a singer, I assume. Yeah. Give us a line from your favorite song. Okay. From my own favorite song? Yeah, but like, what is the song that you like to sing the most and then give us a line? Oh, I, I mean, I love, so Avril Lavigne was a big influence on me when I was sing younger. It. Sing it, I'm not singing. Sing it, <laughs> no. he was a skater boy. <laughs> another day. See you later, boy. <laughs> he wasn't good enough for her. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, she played a big role in that, and I just thought she was so cool when yeah. I was thirteen. I was like, oh, I definitely, was cool. With, like the pink in her hair, that was she, so. She cool. had the black. She had the yeah. the baggy boy short things and the straight hair, and I was like, I am her. <laughs> I want to be her. 
<laughs> well, John, I feel like this date went pretty well. Yeah. So maybe there'll be a second. Any... Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe there'll be a second with us. But if there's anyone listening that is interested, I believe you're on the Right Stuff dating app. I am on the Right Stuff dating app. I use okay. it. And you can follow us on social media, of course, at Date Right Stuff on, on my favorite platform, TikTok. Um, yeah, <laughs> yes. where, and, where, sorry, where do you see your app in five years, just by the way? In five years, I see it as a more encompassing app. Uh, soon we're going to have a friend section. And then in the oh. next year or two, I'd like it to expand to businesses where you can post job things, you know, find conservative right. businesses kind of oh, internships, cool. everyone helping. Uh, I think the most important thing the conservative movement can do right now is stick together. So I yes. want the platform to be a way that people can just stick together. It's really yeah. improving. Um, I think by the end of the year, it's gonna it's gonna be really cool with the friends feature um, and some additional things we're working on. So in five years, yeah, I'm hope, I hope it's just a little more all encompassing of the uh, conservative movement as a whole. Very cool. When you hit the friends tab, can you just make it go? <laughs> Add an effect in there. If okay. You can Let's clap. <laughs> um, oh, I also, see the... bef okay. <laughs> we like to end our podcast with the Pledge of Allegiance, and yes. we usually have our guests do it. Yeah. So if you want to go ahead and lead. You're setting me up. This is not a... <laughs> this is not a real thing. <laughs> We couldn't get that one by you. Dang, Dang it. Dang it. We'll work on that. How about at the conference, we'll do it together? The Pledge at of Allegiance. Yes. We will do the yeah. Pledge of Allegiance together. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Okay, it's a done deal. Signed and delivered. Well, John, thank you so much for coming on. Yeah. And we'll see you in Dallas. Okay. See you in Dallas. Thanks.